This is the Marriott at Houston International, or Intercontinental. It's a little after five in the morning. We're flying to Denver today. The United app is very uh, active on my phone. It says to go to Terminal D to go through TSA. My flight leaves out of E. Elevator will take us down to the subway. Now that's why they're doing construction at Terminal E. Therefore, check in at D or go through security at D. Marriott Hotel, I highly recommend. This is a great overnight. If you're staying in Houston, it's probably not so good, but. The subway at George Bush Intercontinental is pre-security and runs a circular route between all of the terminals. Due to construction, I'm being dropped at Terminal D, but departing out of Terminal E. Every airport I go to, and I always mention this, seems like it's being constructed, renovated, crazy. Constant race of airports to stay fancy. And the pre-check line. So I will see you on the other side. All the way through pre-check, this is definitely the time of day to go through security at Houston. Uh, yeah, easy line. And I'm going to Terminal E. I need a bag tag. I'd love, love to get a NASA bag tag. Little NASA gear. I should get a new hoodie. All my NASA gear is like worn out. But my son would like to come back to Houston, take me to the Space Center. So I think I'm gonna hold off on any NASA gear until that trip. Walk to E. Up the escalator to the United Club in, I guess, Terminal E in Houston. Grab some coffee. I've got about an hour. Always better to wait in the club than it is to wait in concourse. If you've not visited a United Club before, this is pretty typical decor for a United Club. I should distinguish a United Club from a United Polaris Lounge. Polaris Lounges are the next level up. This is just a regular United Club with breads, fruits, and oatmeal in the corner. Plenty of seating, but power is in the big chair area not at the tables. If you have kids, there's a kid room, which is pretty nice. And over here is the hot food selections. We've got scrambled eggs and turkey sausage. Spoiler alert, I didn't eat the turkey sausage at this club. I did at the next one and it was awful. I do not recommend it. I'm not real hungry this morning, so sticking with beverages. Of course, I might regret that when I get on the airplane later, since I have a window, but... If you are interested, here is a closer look at the toast bar and the various items on it. But that brings my visit to the United Club to an end, and it's off to my gate. I'm to board, going to Denver. Woohoo! Denver, love it. And 
and down to E8 to board the flight to Denver. This doesn't look like a Wilma boarding process to me. I mean, it's supposed to look good getting back. Group one is boarding and I'm in group two. portion of the flight and um, doing a little research there is no in-flight entertainment on today's flight. It's kind of a bummer. We're all snuggled up here in 3x3 three three in economy. Missed yesterday's first class but anyway it's snack time so I've got a Coke, full can of Coke Zero which is always cool and undercover chocolate quinoa crisp snacks. I had these on my WestJet flight earlier this year. It's very tasty. Um, could use two or three more of those. Uh, the guy behind me just asked for coconut water. He must think he's in first class and not economy. I find that kind of amusing, but can't hurt to ask, I guess. While I was looking for some in-flight entertainment, on the United app, I found Clear to Land. A little airplane game where you draw a path and your airplanes land on this island here. The goal is to land as many as you can without them crashing into each other. All shapes and sizes. Not a bad little distraction. I would like to see if I can find it for my iPhone to play anytime. It was that much fun. It's that time again. Time for the snack du jour. Uh, what is snack du jour? It's the snack of the day. Mm, that sounds good. I'll have that. So today's snack du jour is whole frame lemon burst mini cookies. It's interesting because the um, bag says pucker up. It's a little lemony. It's pretty good. I like it all but uh, I wouldn't necessarily expect to pucker up. Um, but that makes it up to the approved list. Very good. We've got about, I don't know, like an hour left. And uh, the economy experience is so much different than the first class experience. Um, Sickles are big friend, has very sharp elbows. Very small human, he's got very sharp elbows. He's very wide in his middle seat. It happens. And um, the forward single server friend has leaned back, which makes the economy area even more stuck. Good thing I don't have any claustrophobia. Mostly. It's cleared up outside. much to see. I'm assuming we're either northern Texas, southern Colorado maybe, on our way to Denver. Big dam down there, I don't know what that is, I have to look that up. The flight itself has been very smooth, no, no little 
little bit of chop. I uh, have to compare that to Turbly. Turbly says. As we land in Denver, I'd like to thank you for watching today. If you'd like to watch the full takeoff from Houston and landing in Denver, you can go to my aviation channel. There's a link in the description. If you want to increase your support to the channel, give this video a like. That seems to be the best way for others to discover this content. If you're a regular viewer or you want to do more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that reminder bell, of course. And if you're looking to do even more, channel memberships are available. They have various levels of perks depending on how you choose your membership. Go ahead and click the join button and you can check that out. And I like to say members are awesome. Thank you to all my members and we're just about at the gate. So get ready for the bing. say one of the worst parts about sitting in the back of an airplane is it takes forever to get out. Regardless, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I'll get back to you. That brings today's trip report to an end, so happy travels, my friends.